hello everyone welcome to pm networking guys today in this video we will understand stp election like stp root bridge election root port election designated port election and alternate port election so here in this topology we will discuss first of all we will discuss which switch will become root bridge then which ports will become designated ports which ports will become root ports and uh, which port will become alternate but before starting election let me tell you something that first thing is what is root bridge so root bridge is an reference point or you can say root bridge is a main switch that will manage the entire topology so out of these four switch one switch will become root bridge now question is which switch will become root bridge so switch which will have lowest bridge id right switch which will have lowest bridge id that switch will become root bridge so what is bridge id bridge id is combination of two things first one is priority and second one is base mac address as you know base mac address mac address is 6 byte value right that means 6 byte value means 48 bits value okay and priority is 2 bytes value means 16 bits value so range of priority can be from 0 to 65535 0 to 65535 because value from 2 to the power 16 will be 65536 yes or no so it will be range of priority and by default priority on every switch is 3 2 7 6 8 by default priority on switches is 3 2 7 6 8 so what will be the breeze id of switch 1 combination of two things priority plus base mac address so breeze id of switch 1 will be 3 2 7 6 8 plus 0 a 0 is base mac address is value of 8 bytes yes or no what will be the breeze id of switch 2 3 2 7 6 8 plus 0 b what will be the breeze id of switch c switch 3 3 2 7 6 8 plus 0 c what will be the breeze id of switch 4 3 2 7 6 8 plus 0 d now you tell me which switch will become root bridge switch 1 because switch 1 has lowest breeze id so definitely switch 1 will become root bridge now this is my main switch in topology right this switch will decide that which port will become dp which port will become rp and which port will become alternate and states of dp and rp is in forwarding and a state of alternate port be in will be in blocking so all the ports which a state is forwarding that can forward frame that can send frame and that that can receive frame as well but the port which will become alternate so role of that port will be blocking and blocking port cannot receive or send frame right blocking port can receive only message of stp they cannot receive or forward message of user of end user right so see first of all how election will happen here this is root bridge election switch one will become what root bridge and there are two rule in stp that you need to keep in mind is on a single non root bridge switch like switch 2 switch 3 and switch 4 these are non root bridge switch non root bridge switch non root bridge switch and non root bridge switch yes or no these are non root bridge switch so on a single non root bridge switch there can be maximum one rp there can be maximum one rp Eki root port ho sakta hai ek non root bridge switch ke upar right there can be maximum one rp there can be not more than one rp on a single root bridge switch and on a segment on a segment there can be only one dp there can be only one dp on a segment fine so this is this is two things that you need to keep in mind before starting stp election right on a non root bridge switch there can be maximum one rp and on a single segment there can be maximum one dp now what is dp and rp so dp is the port which transmits superior bpdu which transmit superior bpdu and rp is the port which receives superior bpdu so suppose i am root bridge so definitely i will send superior bpdu so all ports of me will become dp and suppose you guys are my student you are learning from me right so you are receiving 
whatever i am sending right this is my superior information my superior bpdu and you guys are receiving so ports of your receiving interface will become what rp right so all the ports which will receive superior bpdu that port will become rp and all the port which will send superior bpdu that port will become dp designated port fine now now question is how to identify superior bpdu because if all the ports which will send superior bpdu that port will become dp okay fine all the ports which will receive superior bpdu that port will become rp fine but how to identify superior bpdu this is question so to identify superior bpdu switch will check first thing is root bridge id root bridge id first thing switch will check root bridge id so root bridge id of switch 1 is this one root bridge id of switch 2 is this one root bridge root bridge id of switch 2 is not this one this one is bridge id of switch 2 what is the root bridge id of switch 2 this one right for switch 2 who is root bridge switch 1 for switch 3 also who is root bridge switch 1 for switch 4 also who is root bridge switch 1 so if someone will ask you what is the bridge id of switch 2 this one 3 2 7 6 8 plus 0 b is the bridge id of switch 2 what is the root bridge id of switch 2 3 2 7 6 8 plus 0 a what is the, what is the bridge id of switch 4 3 2 7 6 8 plus 0 d what is the root bridge id of switch 4 3 2 7 6 8 plus 0 a means my root bridge is switch number 1 and whatever bridge id of switch 1 is that will become root bridge id for me because switch 1 is root bridge yes or no so to identify superior bpdu first of all switch will check root bridge id if root bridge id will match okay on which suppose i have two switch i have one switch and on this switch i am receiving two bpdu suppose this is 0 slash 0 this one is 0 slash 1 if i am receiving bpdu on these two ports from same bridge id then i will check check next thing if bridge id is different if bridge id is different in both bpdu so on the port on on port where i am receiving least root bridge id bpdu that will become superior bpdu for me jaise ye switch hai is pe do bpdu receive ho raha hai 0 slash 0 pe 0 slash 1 pe mai kis pe superior bpdu receive kar raha hu ye identify mai kaise karunga how i will identify that i am receiving superior bpdu on which interface for that first of all i will check root bridge id on the port where i am receiving lowest bridge id that means on that port i am receiving superior bpdu but what what will happen if i will i am receiving same root bridge id on both port i am receiving bpdu on this port also and this port also in both bpdu root bridge id is same so what will happen if root bridge id will tie then router then switches will check what then stp will check cost cost means rpc root path cost means total cost to reach root bridge and by default cost is predefined right like fast ethernet cost is 19 stp never reveal formula to calculate cost right so i also don't know what is the exact formula to calculate cost but you can remember like this cost is indirectly proportional to a speed because on ethernet link cost is 100 on fast ethernet link cost is 19 right so suppose these are my fast ethernet link right between all switches i am using fast ethernet link so cost of every link will be 19 fine so second thing that stp will check to identify superior bpdu is cost after that third thing if cost will tie then stp will check sender bridge id sender bridge id if sender bridge id will tie then switch will check sender port id if sender port id will tie then switch will check receiver port id and receiver port id can never be same yes or no how it is possible that i am receiving two bpdu on single port right so receiver port will definitely different okay so this is this is process to identify superior bpdu now after election root bridge you have to elect root port rp on every switch one port will become rp only one port 
on every non root be switch only one port will become rp so you have to identify that on which port switch 2 is receiving superior bpdo right switch 2 is receiving superior bpdo so see guys switch number 2 will receive bpdo on this interface also on this interface also on these two interface also and on these two interface also and these two interface also how so switch 1 will send configuration bpdo at initial every switch will send configuration bpdo right what is the use of configuration bpdo use of configuration bpdo is to elect root breeze and to maintain topology so after election only root breeze will send superior B, so only root breeze will send configuration bpdo right initially every switch will think that i am root bridge so every switch will send their configuration bpdo but on non root bridge switch will came to know that i am not root bridge root bridge is switch one they will stop sending configuration bpdo because switch one is now root bridge after election only root bridge switch will send configuration bpdo so it will send configuration bpdo to switch two also it will send configuration bpdo to switch three also it will send configuration bpdo to switch four also like when configuration some bpdu will be sent by switch 1 to switch 3 switch 3 will relay that bpdu to switch 4 to switch 3 but they will change some information when root bridge will generate bpdu cost will be zero means root path cost will be zero root path cost means total cost to reach root bridge so distance total distance from non root bridge switch to reach root bridge switch so cost from root bridge to reach root bridge will be always zero because who is generating this bpdu root bridge so cost will be zero means distance is zero distance from root bridge to root bridge is zero right like this but when switch 3 will receive bpdu it will add their own interface cost so suppose these are fast ethernet link so it will add cost 19 cost of fast ethernet link is 19 so when switch 2 will receive bpdu over here cost will be what 19 over here cost will be 19 plus 19 means 38 and here cost is 0 here cost will be 0 so definitely these port and these port will not become rp out of these two port one port will become what rp right because on these two ports switch 2 is receiving superior bpdo superior bpdo this is process to identify superior bpdo fine so out of these two port one port will become rp now question is which port will become rp so yes definitely this port will become rp because if cost will tie if cost will tie then they will check sender b's id if sender b's id will tie then they will check sender port id and on this interface sender port id will be 0 0 and on this port sender id will be 0 1 so here i am receiving bpdo with list sender port id so this port will become what rp so this port will become rp in the same way on r4 r4 will receive bpdo on here also here also and here also and on these two port they will be receive superior bpdo so out of these two port one port will become rp which port this port 0 slash 4 this port will become what rp and on this switch which port will become rp right so switch is receiving bpdo on this port also on this port also but here on this port this switch is receiving superior bpdo so out of these two port one port will become rp this port and all ports of root bridge will become what dp after election of rp you have to elect dp designated port so designated port means port which is sending superior bpdo so who is sending superior bpdo root bridge so all port of root bridge will become what dp all port of root bridge will become what dp fine and now you need to find alternate port and dp so see here on switch number three this port will become what here is rp this port is rp so there can be only one rp on one non, non root bridge switch and this port is dp so definitely this port will become alternate because there can be no two dp on a single segment yes or no this port will become alternate let me talk about this link so switch 3 is also sending bpdu 
and switch 4 is also sending BPDO on this link. Who is sending superior BPDO? So see MAC address of this machine is 0C and MAC address of this machine is 0D. So sender MAC address is lower here on switch 3. So that's why switch 3 is sending superior BPDO because in both BPDO, in both BPDO, root bridge ID will be same, cost will be same, cost will be same from here also, from here also right but when they will check sender bridge id so here sender bridge id is list so these two port will become what dp dp and these two port will become alternate because rp are already available right now let me talk on this link so here also this switch is also sending bpdu this switch is also sending bpdu which switch is sending superior bpdu switch number two so this port will become dp dp this port will become alternate alternate yes or no let me talk on this link so again this switch is also sending bpdu and this switch is also sending bpdu who is sending superior bpdu switch 2 so this port will become dp dp and this port will become alternate because rp is already available yes or no on this link these port are dp dp so this port will become what this port is rp this port will become alternate fine everything yes everything so now uh, suppose here is one computer and here is also one computer suppose ip address of this machine is 10.1 ip address of this machine is 10.2 if 10.1 wants to communicate with 10.2 how they will communicate switch 3 will forward traffic from rp port to root bridge root bridge will forward to switch 4 because this one is dp and this one is rp so definitely switch 1 will learn mac address of this pc on this port yes or no so it will forward to switch 4 switch 4 will forward to pc this is election of stp root bridge election root port election and designated port election guys if you have any doubt please let me know in comment if you don't have any doubt if you have learned something from this video don't forget to like this video